because I grew up around Kaveri, almost four and a half years, every day I swam in Kaveri. I have so many things about Kaveri. For me, she was living force, much larger life than myself. I am not some environmental scientist or a ecological activist or something. But this disaster has been unfolding, I've been watching for twenty-five years very… with great concern. But uh, I'm not somebody who speaks about anything unless there is open ears, otherwise I don't speak about those things. If I had spoken about Kaveri twenty years ago, then only I saw disaster is unfolding. I spoke to a few people around me. Uh, they also said, ha hu, and they ignored. Rest of the public I never spoke because they will not listen to anything unless you threaten their life. Kaveri has depleted, according to studies, forty-six percent. But according to my experience, it's around twenty-five percent of what it was forty-fifty years ago. They are… they are coming to this conclusion of forty-six percent by looking at the entire flow, including the monsoon flow. But let us say we take the month of September, because Kaveri calling is in September, Many things significant to us happened in September. Let's say we take September and look at Kaveri, how it was fifty years ago and how it is today. She is only twenty-five percent. You take the monsoon volumes also, then maybe forty-six percent depletion. So this doesn't happen overnight. This has been happening. Chennai people, never thought it's a problem, till they have to wait for a train to bring water, huh? Southern India, a tropical nation, rich land, fertile land, which we have farmed for over twelve, fifteen thousand years. Over twelve thousand year history of farming in this land. Same land we plowed for twelve thousand years and every year it gave us the yield. But in two generations, in about approximately forty years, since we started using chemical fertilizer, now nearly twenty-five percent is on the verge of becoming a desert. The entire land of India is approximately around hundred and sixty million hectares of arable land. Out of this, one hundred and four million hectares of arable land is right now considered as distressed soil. That means nearly fifty-five to sixty percent of India's land in twenty-five, thirty years' time will be uncultivable. And we have… by then we will be one point five billion people. Tch, what a great plan to have one point five billion people and lose sixty percent of the land. How are you going to keep them alive? When I spoke about eight years ago, that dead bodies will fall, people said, Sadhguru, don't talk like this. I said, okay, wait. You wait, it will fall. Not in ones and twos or dozens, it will fall in thousands if you don't wake up in millions. <laughs>